Have you ever been flipping through, I don't know, Netflix or just video on demand channels and you come across a movie that you never heard of but you think it might be intriguing and you watch it and then after you're done watching it you're like, holy fuck, that was pretty fucking good. Why have I not heard of this movie before? Well, yeah, that's this movie. Hey guys, welcome to Happy Wax TV. So, just got a quick review here on this movie that I just watched. Actually, um, my buddy uh, Jason Ertman uh, asked me if I had seen this movie and I said I, I have it, but I haven't watched it yet. And he said he loved it. So I thought, okay, you know what? If Jay likes it, I'll give it a watch and, and see, see what it looks like. I'd never even seen the trailer before. I'd never even heard of this movie before. I just got it and didn't even know what to do with it because I didn't even know if it was a horror movie. I, I never really looked into it. So, but he, he messaged me and said, you know, give this thing a watch. It's pretty fucking good. So I did. And he was right. This movie is fucking good. Uh, very quickly, it's directed by Rob Grant. He's got five or six uh, movies under his belt. So he knows what he's doing and it shows in this movie. And then basically it's got a, like a super small cast of just three people plus a narrator. Um, Monroe Chambers, okay, plays Jonah, uh, and then quickly uh, Emily Tyra plays Sasha, and then Christopher Gray, uh, Gray plays Richard, um, and then uh, Brett uh, Geeman is the narrator. Um, so let's let's start with um, Monroe Chambers first, who plays Jonah. The whole time I was watching this movie, I was like, where do I know this fucking kid's face from? It was it was actually starting to bug me. So. When I was researching this, just quickly to get some, some info and some background on these guys, he was the main uh, character in Turbo Kid, which I absolutely... F if you haven't seen Turbo Kid, give that a watch, man. It is like B-style to the max. It's, it's an amazing movie. It has Michael Ironside in it, and it's, it's just... It's like Mad Max meets... I don't, I don't know what, but it's just... It's a great post-apocalyptic movie with bikes like bmx's and stuff there's i don't think there's any cars in it at all so it's a pretty great movie i i just i loved it so anyways check that one out but anyways monroe chambers plays the lead character in that so basically here i'll just read the synopsis um rivalries dark secrets and sexual tension emerge when three best friends find themselves stranded on a yacht in the middle of the ocean desperate for survival okay well that's the that's the uh, uh synopsis in a nutshell uh basically uh, Christopher Gray, who plays Richard, is uh, the boyfriend of Sasha, played by Emily Tyra. Um, and it's, it's the, the movie opens. They, they go over to Jonah's house. His parents have passed away. And, uh, I mean, Richard walks in the house and just starts beating the shit out of Jonah. And when I say beat the shit out of him, I mean, like, he is just a blood-soaked mess like I mean, smashing his face and richard has an anger anger management issue and he gets mad really easy and he's very violent um but he's he's rich his dad's a like a bazillionaire and he's got all sorts of money and the narrator um the narration in this movie is fantastic by the way it really does does make this movie kind of extra special but um yeah so the narrator kind of gives you a background of these these characters and how much money richard has and how he spends it on his friends you know what I mean? Because he feels guilty for how much he gets angry um, a lot of the times for nothing. You know what I mean? Or, he, or he's in the wrong, so he feels bad, so he buys these guys all sorts of stuff. So, But anyways, um, the first act is he comes over, he beats the shit out of Jonah, like literally beats the shit out of him because he thinks that um, Jonah and his girlfriend Sasha are fooling around on each other because of a text that he found. Turns out they talked him into believing that they're not, do you know what I mean? Because it was, they, it was about buying him a harpoon gun, which is the name of the movie, um, for his birthday. So he feels like an idiot. So as per usual, goes and buys a whole bunch of stuff and they go on a day trip on his yacht. And that's where the second act picks up. Um, I don't want to give spoilers for this. It's really, I mean, if you go in like I did, knowing absolutely nothing about this movie, you will fucking love it. So I don't really want to say too much about the third act or the second act. And I certainly don't want to say anything about the third act because, I mean, this movie, just take my word for it. This movie is fucking awesome. It really is. I mean, it, the pacing is great. I mean, the, the, it's almost a lot of times when they're, when they're speaking to each other, 
when they're cracking the one-liners and making fun of each other and arguing back and forth. It's almost like like the, the camera's not even there. You, you know what I mean? Like it, the acting is that real and, and, and that good. It's just, and it, and it just brings you into this film. I mean, mind you, it's not the perfect film. There are, there are some, some silly things that go on, you know, on this boat and stuff like that. But I mean, it's just, you know, I, I can't really say too much about it. I know that's, that's being vague and I, I don't want to be, you know, make it sound like I, I don't know much about this movie, but I fucking loved it. But honestly, if I tell you any more that like what goes on in the second act and stuff, it, it'll ruin it for you. So, I mean, by all means, watch the trailer if you want to, but I wouldn't even do that. I mean, just, just watch this movie and take my word for it. It's only an hour and 20 minutes, and which really helps because it's, it's, it's short. And again, it really helps with the pacing because there's no filler bullshit like some movies try and do so they can get into that, you know, hour and 40 or hour and 50 minute mark. They just, it's, it's very well edited. It's just go, go, go. I mean, you really don't have time to stop and think when you're watching this thing. And it's just, I mean, there's, there's, there's gore in this movie. I mean, the, the, the fight scenes are awesome. The, the arguments and the squabbling they have back and forth is, is funny as fuck. Like the, when they start making fun of each other and, and talk about, uh, you know, how each other is in bed. Like it's, it's just, it's a good fucking movie. It really is. So I highly recommend this movie. Um, I think if I was going to give it a rating, I'd probably give it a really, really strong seven and a half. Um, yeah, you don't, you don't want to bypass this movie. If you come across it on your, your video on demand platforms, um, definitely rent this movie and give it a watch because it is, it is definitely worth the hour and 20 minutes of your time. So um, it just came out too. I think it just, uh, what are we on today? I think it just came out on Tuesday, I think Tuesday or Wednesday. So it's brand new. But um, yeah, definitely find it and, and give it a watch. If you have seen it, leave me comments down below because I'd like to know what you guys thought of it. And if you haven't, go watch it and then come back and, and let me know what you think. But seriously, I mean, this movie came out of nowhere. I had no idea what it was a fucking what it was about or, or who was in it or anything. I didn't know. But it's definitely classified. It can fall into the horror genre. Absolutely, it can. So, but um, yeah, don't if you see it. Don't bypass it. I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but it is really that good. So, Jay, thanks for recommending it to me. Um, you didn't disappoint, man. It was fucking good. So, anyway, seven and a half from me. Definitely check it out. The movie's called Harpoon. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We're slowly creeping up on the 2,000 sub mark, and it would be just amazing if we could hit 2,000 before the end of the year. That would be awesome. So, again, just quickly, I don't, I don't do this for money. I don't monetize any of my... Uh, any of my videos, I just do them because I love talking horror movies and, uh, you know, the interaction I get with you guys. And I know I've said this for like the last six fucking months, but I am going to start live streaming soon. Um, I just, I'm so fucking busy at work right now, I just don't have time. But as soon as work slows down, I promise you, I'm all set up. I've got everything I need. It's all good to go. I just need to find the time because I really want to sit down and do movie commentaries um, with you guys, like while we while we watch a movie together. I, I'm really wanting to do that, and it will happen, I promise. So, but just give me some more time. I know you guys have been asking about it, and I know I've been saying it forever. It seems like, but I am, and I do have t-shirts coming. I promise. I have t-shirts coming too. I just, again, I am just so fucking busy at work right now. I only, I barely have time to do these. So, anyways, okay, enough rambling. The movie's called Harpoon. Please watch it. I, I guarantee you'll love it. It's fucking fantastic, guys. So anyways, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. And as always, guys, stay scared.